This is a, a game that came down the stretch, extra overtime play. Just what was it in that overtime frame that allowed you guys to close it out? And what did you guys focus in on? Yeah, um, just getting stops at the end, getting stops and then, you know, just getting the sets on the offensive end, getting good shots, uh, good shots, quality shots, make or miss. You know, we got good shots. Then we took a good shot every time we went down overtime. So make or miss. So we'll just live with that. And then at the end of the day, we just got stops. Uh, Force them into tough shots, make or miss. Just force them into tough shots, and we just gotta live with. If they make it, good thing in overtime they didn't make. They didn't make them, so it was good. When you look at your stat line at this point, I'm used to seeing numbers like this, but it's the, you know, seven assists, one block, one steal. What impressed you about your game and what you were able to showcase tonight? Uh, nothing really. Just really just reading the game. Um, just taking what defense gives me. Um, it's been an um, emphasis for me this year since teams are keying in on me more. So I got to learn, you know, how to attack the NBA defense differently, you know, other than some defenses. But just um, just reading the game and just getting my guys shots, you know, make a miss. You got to live with it, get wide open. So it's the best shot we can get on that possession is a wide open three or a wide open dunk, whatever. So it's been good for so far. When KO was talking about you bringing the ball up more and assuming more point guard responsibilities, how much do you take that on and say as a, as a new challenge for you to just show that while you can score the ball, you have kind of grown as a passer this season? Yeah, um, I really say I've grown as a passer because I'm playing more. Um, I'm playing more, I mean, I mean, anybody, if anybody don't really play much and they get in for a few spurs, I mean, let's be real, nobody's looking to pass. <laughs> When they first get in, they're looking to get some buckets. So, you know, I'd probably say to really just me playing more, just knowing I have more opportunity to find the guys. You know, instead of like the first two years, I probably play a game and don't play for the next five and then play again. But this year, just getting the reps, playing, read different coverages, def uh, teams are throwing at me, and just reading it in that aspect and just knowing that, you know, you know I'm going to be playing, honestly. So that's really it. Do you see it as kind of like maybe maybe a maturity in a way of your game, just to be like, now that you're on the court, you are able to say, I can pass besides just get 30 like this? Yeah, of course, obviously. Um, you know, just go growing. Um, I'm only, like I always say, I'm only 22. I'm still figuring it out on the fly. I'm only 22. I mean, I know it feels like I've been here a while, but uh, <laughs> I'm only 22. But it's just still learning, only in year three, still learning the different nuances, the different coverages um, teams are throwing at me how to attack certain stuff, uh, just looking at the family and all that stuff, seeing where I can get the guys open shots, because most of the time, you know, early on, most teams are going to be blitzing the screen, and I'm going to have, you know, guys open. You know, Mikael made them early. Um, hit Clax a few times on the lives, got them wide open lives, throw. So really just finding the guys. I hit Doe, you know, he didn't make them tonight, but, I mean, it great shots wide open, you know. We'll live with that all day. So just really reading, just reading in, just, just making the right play.